right. Moving on to our next topic at hand. Uh, say close this window down. Ah, yes. This is reported off of Engadget.com, written by John Fingus. Kingdom Hearts 3 leaks six weeks early. Leakers can't completely spoil the ending, at least. Uh, it is not unheard of, of, uh, of for uh, it's not unheard of for games to reach players days before launch thanks to supply chain leaks, pirates, or or, or eager retailers. Square Enix, however, is dealing with something considerably worse. The developer Tetsuya Nomura has confirmed that copies of Kingdom Hearts 3 are circulating roughly six weeks ahead of the game, uh, game's January 29th debut. But Nomura didn't say how the Disney Tactic crossover RPG got loose. He did confirm that Square was, quote, aware as to how this all happened, unquote. Uh, there may have been some clues to as to uh, how Kingdom Hearts 3 escaped into the wild. Kotaku noted that a Facebook user uh, going by the name of Broderick Jackson was selling copies of the game for $100 each for the weekend of December 14th and even posted clips and proof that it was real. Jackson, unsurprisingly, wouldn't share how he came across these copies, suggesting that he didn't come across them uh, by sheer luck. The good news? Uh, spoil sports can't ruin the entire game for you. Both the epilogue and the secret movie, reportedly the largest spoilers in the game, won't be released until later, just in case. You may uh, want to filter your social, your social network feeds regardless. Uh, just know that there will be surprises, even if you stumble up, uh, across this spoiler in the near future. And an update to that, real quick. The person who was selling those copies um, was caught. <laughs> that... Well, the, yeah, I imagine that that happened very quickly. Yeah, but the voice actor Axel kind of broke it on Twitter, so it's like, yeah, the guy, the guy got caught. <laughs> so, 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 as as much as it sucks, Anthony, as much as this is like a shitty situation, and like this is an intellectual property on multiple levels, like it's Disney and Square Enix. Don't, don't fuck with, yeah, don't fuck with, stuff. Don't fuck with Disney. Absolutely, do not fuck with Disney. That's that's asking for every amount of trouble you could possibly get. They are an absolute fucking juggernaut when it comes to lawsuits. Don't fuck with Disney. Secondly, um, wh why would you take a game that's so that's so well uh, uh, liked and and beloved that people have been waiting for this game for literally decades? I think it's been what twenty years since the first one. I, I believe so. Yeah, it's been a long, long time. I don't think it's been, 20, I don't, it's been a very long time, since at least the second. And you're going to go out of your way to spoil it for other people? Like, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, no, however, it's no... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Finish your thought. I don't think that the person putting out the stuff was trying, trying to spoil it for people. I don't think that, that he's actively going haha look at this hey Sora dies fuck you I don't know if he does I'm just stating a fact right right um I don't know jack shit about the game other than what they've shown because <laughs> I'm very good a about avoiding spoilers and b I also don't give a fuck like and that's the point I wanted to get to was y'all stuff should stop giving such a fuck mm -hmm. like agreed like the less fuck you give about having something spoiled for you the less concerned you'll be about spoilers Absolutely. I was in that boat for, for a while. Like, when uh, the height of Halo, I was super excited for Halo 3. I was trying to avoid everything. And then a friend of mine, like, posted on Facebook that, you know, Master Chief dies at the end. I was like, motherfucker. When, the real when I realized that wasn't the true ending, it's like, oh, okay. Um, but I, I've been there. Like, I, I know how that feels um, for a very, very hyped game. At the same time, like, I, I over time, I kind of came to the realization that, like, Spoilers will happen, and whether you like it or not, it's gonna. If you're lucky, you're able to avoid them. But if it comes across, you know, your feed. I'm not saying here. I'm not. I want to make it clear. I'm never saying that spoilers are okay. I'm not condoning them. I'm just stating a fact that when you give less of a shit about the potential of spoilers thrown at you, the less stress you're gonna feel on the whole subject of uh, like. Uh, agreed. All together. Uh, uh, agreed. Um, yes. Like if you're if you're going through your social media going, how can I avoid things so I don't have Kingdom Hearts three spoiled for me? That's an extra level of stress you already have on your life from the other stresses you already have. 
Like, I can't imagine my life right now where I give a fuck about spoilers. Because if if I did, I might just die from a heart attack. Like, yeah. I'm not saying that because I'm fat, but like the stress I have from job and paying bills and you know my parents' mental or not mental but medical shit that they're dealing with all the fucking time. Um, like we just learned that the sores on my mom's hand are staph infection. So there's that. Um, that's terrifying. Uh, so if I added to that stress of, well, I love Twitter and I love looking at the news on Twitter and I love the friends that I've made on Twitter, but I'm going to not use Twitter or I'm going to be really, really careful about scrolling through Twitter and add stress to my life because of potential entertainment spoilers. My life would be fucking miserable. Just. Yeah. The interesting thing about this though, is that. The company, you know, obviously when it comes to fans, people are, you know, of that ilk, like, yeah, we can definitely say, like, yeah, avoid spoilers, like, if you know, don't give a shit, you know, the less stress you'll be, um, do this and this and this. Uh, it doesn't help the fact that the company is also kind of uh, getting into that as well, in terms of, like, you know, don't spoil the game, which I understand, like, you know, you want people to buy the game to play the game fully through to see what happens. Um at sure. The, at the, I, I, at the I same, that. yeah. I'm not arguing that. Yeah. At the same time, like, it's it's kind of saying to the internet, don't do this, because they're gonna do the opposite of what you what they what the way they've been told to you. Oh, I get what you're saying. You're basically like when they say don't spoil this, like people are going to find a way to spoil it because yes. that's just the asshole nature yes. of humans. Abs- absolutely. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I thought you were... Yeah, yeah, okay. I, and I agree. I totally agree. When you tell the internet not to do something, they're going to do it. Yeah. It's... Um, yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, it's it's that... It doesn't help at the same time. Like, it, it definitely... Something, like, for people, everybody just to know, like, it's... Things like this will happen time and time again. Leaks have always been a thing ever since people were able to leak uh, games whenever it existed. Um, and, you know, spoilers will happen or whatever, what have you. Um, that, I feel like you have to just accept that at this point in 2018 going in 2019. Um, yeah. So, like, it's not, it's uh, not only inevitable, but it's, it's, it's something that you can't, like, you can avoid, but again, the stress that you're adding to your life is insurmountable, in my opinion. Yeah. Especially if you give a fuck about these franchises as much as I do. Mm-hmm. Like, I guarantee fucking to you when uh, the third, you know, episode nine of Star Wars comes out, there's going to be people trying to spoil it. There were, wasn't there like a spoiled script or like the script was like posted like prior to last year's Star Wars movie that came out? Here's my point, Anthony. I don't know. Why? Because I didn't pay attention to that shit. Uh, that's, that's another aspect. You see point. what I'm saying? Good point. Yeah. Good point. Like, I'm not going to pay attention to Kingdom Hearts 3 shit. Unless it's directly from Square Enix, or the game is out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how I concentrate on shit. That's how I avoid spoilers. Secret alert. That's how you avoid shit. Yeah. There's two ways you guys can do it. You can uh, just go cold turkey and get off the internet and social media uh, completely. Uh, or just stop giving a shit. Uh, <laughs> that, that is true. Or uh, use your social media, what have you, Twitter, Facebook, what not, what not, filter out the words Kingdom Hearts 3, and you'll be fine. Oh, uh, you could do that, but again, I find that to be needless. Well, I know, but it's what just if, What me- if Square Enix releases a new trailer, or releases like, like, hey, the game's out a day early, you wouldn't know about it. That is very true, but at the same time, this is kind of the game you have to play. The Not the Kingdom Hearts 3 game, but like the, the game of life. Uh, well, could you also imagine being the person that goes, well... Kingdom Hearts 3 ending was spoiled for me, so I guess I'm not playing the game. Then that's what? dumb. <laughs> that is super that's dumb. That's a weird fucking, like, idea as well. Like, yeah. It's just... Like, I, and there are definitely people people out there with that mentality. Like, it's... It's... That's it's for, straight, it, that's straight yeah. up. That's straight up. Just... It's just dumb. It, it is dumb. It is it is definitely dumb. And, you know... More of more the story is, and I think a lesson for everybody, is accept the fact that leaks will always happen, spoilers will always happen, no matter what, never mind, no matter what you do, the game that that is spoiled, you know, it. you can take the heart, uh, no no pun there, um, you can take it to heart and like, you know, be hurt by it, the fact that, like, oh my god, these people are ruining this game because they spoiled, like, no, no they didn't, like, the game is still gonna be good, it's, it's gonna come out, people are gonna enjoy it, it's... If it happens, it happens. 
just accept it. And if you do get spoiled, then it just makes you more inclined to find out how exactly it got to that point. Now, now, now play the game like a fucking Tarantino movie. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I do with spoilers is with me. It's like I don't... I don't care. If I don't care if I get spoiled or not. Just, if I do get spoiled, I find out, you know, how it happened, how I got to that point. So, yeah. All right. Moving on to our next story at 